Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Yes, I'm wearing glasses. It helps see colors in the morning. And I also lost my voice yesterday, so that's also happening to me. So anyway guys, today we're going to be talking about the Reddit AMA. Now I made a video about this a while ago with the last AMA that they did, Boom Beach AMA, I should say. We're talking about the Reddit AMA. Um, now I made a video about last AMA and you guys absolutely loved it So if you love this video make sure you drop a like as always and let's jump into it So basically if you don't know what an AMA is every so often boom beach does it Does this AMA where they come together and answer a bunch of questions people have about boom beach and future updates And it's super cool because they always do it around the time of a big update so they could kind of start hyping it up so um, let's talk about it. So they released they they kind of been hyping up this one big update coming up and you guys will learn more about it in this video and kind of what I think it's going to be. They didn't quite like leak it, leak it like they did last time, but it's okay. Um, anyway, let's first start off with Mega Crab. So someone asked, are they doing anything special for Mega Crab's birthday? If you don't know Mega Crab, I believe his birthday is like January 15th or something because that's the first time he was released um, And they basically said are you doing anything special for Mega Crab's birthday and they basically responded no uh, We're not doing anything special, but um, Not we're not doing anything over the top anything new for Mega Crab's birthday So that kind of assumes or it, they, they said something like that It kind of assumes that they are bringing out a Mega Crab for uh, of a 15th or something like that. So I do believe that Mega Crab will be released on Mega Crab's birthday. So this was actually supposed to be a solo. Just wasn't able to do it. There's boom cannons, the mines killed all my Zookas, but oh well. And then Mingus was able to come in. Um, this is our task force attempting to destroy Dead End, by the way. So I'm not going to be talking too much about the operation. But we almost beat it. We didn't quite beat it. Actually, we weren't even close to beating it. We got these two really hard bases. Ming uh, no, Mingus is attacking. Minotaur. That's what it was in Torrent. So there were two very hard bases that you need a bunch of AZ players to actually succeed. And all of our AZ players were working on the other bases. So just not enough. We actually did really bad, but that's a different story. Um, so yeah, let's talk about this new event. So in the same post where they said Mega Crab, nothing new is coming to for Mega Crab's birthday, they also, also said um, there is something in the works for high or, or no, just offensive players. There's something in the works for offensive players, and it's going to be released soon. And they kept telling us that it's going to be coming soon. The next update's close. Um, it's soon and I don't think they're talking about mega crabs update because I don't even assume, I don't even consider that quite an update We'll show you Tanner's attack because Tanner always loves to get featured actually everyone loves to get featured But I'm trying to show you people that are actually doing okay in operations and this attack was kind of a waste but <laughs> Kind of a waste uh, but Every little bit counts I guess well, not not quite, but okay. I mean, he, he kind of helped by taking up all the energy for other players, but yeah, not a very good attack. Sorry, Tanner. Uh, but yeah, Lord Carnage came in and was able to do some work on the rocket launchers. I honestly don't know what Tanner was trying to do. I don't know what his mission was. Maybe he was talking to Carnage or something about his attack. So, well, we, I don't know for sure yet. Anyway. Back to the update. So, another big offensive update coming for offensive players. What do you guys think it is? Tell me in the comments below. I have some ideas, and I don't, I don't quite know, like what it's going to be. Um, but I think it's gonna have something to do with the turtle. You know, Doctor D loves himself some turtles. I think it has something to do with turtle. Maybe it's a mega turtle. It's not a mega turtle, but it would be cool if it was. Um, that's gonna be what like the thumbnail is a mega turtle um, And that's what the title's gonna be about mega turtle, but it's not gonna be a mega turtle I'm just saying that because I had no other, I had no other ideas for like a thumbnail idea, so um, We'll show you to finish Tika was able to one-shot axiom 
yeah, that's one shot. I don't think anyone else attacked it before him. And if they did, they did nothing to it, so it didn't make a difference. But this guy is actually from one of the top uh, 15, I believe. Like t He's from Angry to the Core, which is like one of the top 25-man task forces, which is insane. Uh, he came down to our task force to use less power powder to kind of regain power powder over Christmas break, and he has helped us tremendously. He was able to solo this one base, which is insane. Oh, just look at this. Just pre the precision he has is insane. So, good job, Tika. Um, and other than that, they didn't really talk about anything else in the Boom Beach AMA. We'll show you Jimmy's fail, of course. Always got a feature, hashtag Jimmy fail. No, I sound like chicken. We always got a feature Jimmy fail, guys, because Jimmy fails. No. Jimmy can't attack. I'm trying not to say anything that will get me kicked. Because Jimmy will kick. He has before and he will again. And I don't want to reset my intel. Anyway. Um, what's he doing? I have no idea. That's an okay landing. Not awful. But that was a waste. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why he has so many heavies. Why, do, why does he have so many heavies? So yeah. All of Ozuko's... <laughs> You can't, okay. You can't drop a flare that's slanted. Otherwise, your Zookas are going to run all over the place. And they're not very predictable unless you're super skilled. Um, Jimmy is not super skilled. So he does not know how to drop a slanted flare. And actually, actually make it work. He's wasted so many smokes. Wow. <sighs> anyway. Um... That was pretty much all they talked about in the Reddit AMA. Another thing they mentioned, which I found kind of interesting, is they only have two programmers working on Boom Beach. Which I find very interesting. For a game Boom Beach's size, they only have two programmers. So that's why we've been getting updates like every six months, because there's only two people working on it. Um, and then they have, they have a team of 12. Um, but yeah, only two programmers. So. I feel like they should maybe hire a few more, but Boom Beach is definitely not what it used to do. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if they cut down on what Boom Beach has. Um, Supercell, I mean, cuts down. Anyway, Andy came in with AZ and was able to finish off his base. Gizzy started it, took down the rock launchers, and then Andy was able to come in and finish it. So good job, Andy. Good job, Gizzy. Was able to two-shot circuit board. We were able to two-shot assembler. We were able to one-shot Axiom. And all of our attacks were spent on Torrent and Minotaur. And Armadillo. Armadillo was kind of hard, but kind of easy at the same time. Uh, we'll show you Oscar's... Oscar kind of failed. Um, a lot of AZ players, honestly. They also posted... Uh, pictures of I'll actually post them on the screen so if we go they're called motivational posters and I think there's one over here yeah that's a motivational poster they actually posted some of those on the forums like full res I mean on the AMA like full res like full resolution so you guys can see what they actually say in their full list they're pretty cool I'm not gonna lie they're really cool um, yeah, yeah it's always cool I love it when Boom Beach shares stuff like that with us. Um, like, just inside details about the game and stuff. But I don't know why they still have Nick and Knight in the game. Like, Nick and Knight doesn't play Boom Beach anymore, but he kind of, like, kickstarted Boom Beach, I guess you would say. So, I have, like, this scratch on my screen. It kind of stinks, but... Okay, I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. This is my third time recording it. Um, the first time was half an hour long. Second time, my recording software never started, or I forgot to start it. And hopefully this time it's going to work. So, he actually, without a shock, yeah, if you click on it, it turns white, by the way. So, like, if I click on that, it turns white. So, that's why it looked like a smoke. But I think he actually messed up and dropped the shock. Um, so, yeah, this operation was hard, very hard. Uh, thank you to my task force for letting me do it. Some people were kind of mad 
for it. Ah, like, it's fine. I mean, it was a fun app. I'm not gonna lie. There's always, like, I could just get destroyed. Um, there's always, like, four or three bases that are should be an easy solo for any app, even. Even Forlorn Hope. Hope. There's a few bases that should be an easy solo or an easy two-man attack. And then all the rest are just, like, you need to use every attack you have to destroy it. So, overall, pretty fun. I love doing this AMA, the red AMA for Bone Beach. It's not my AMA. But, yeah, that's pretty much all they talked about. They didn't talk about too much more. So, I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to drop a like, as always. Tell me below what you think this new event's going to be, because that's pretty much all they talked about. But, anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.